Hey, what is up guys, I'm KidBHD here, and it's 2014, everything leaks, and this is the second video I'm making about the iPhone 6, this time with an exclusive part. This is the front glass from the iPhone 6. Let's take a closer look. So a lot of you guys will remember the last video I did about the 4.7 inch iPhone 6 model, which a lot of you guys saw, but this here isn't a mock-up, this is an actual straight off the assembly line iPhone 6 part from Apple. And it's the entire 4.7 inch front panel of glass, including a sheet of sapphire crystal. So this is important because of its existence, we can basically confirm that yeah, there will be an iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display. And we now know that this 4.7 inch model will have this sapphire display, not just Gorilla Glass. So there was some speculation that only a larger 5.5 inch iPhone would get the sapphire display, but now we know that rumor's not true. So what is so great about Sapphire Crystal? Well, it has a number of advantages over Gorilla Glass, which like I said, is on the front of the iPhone 5S. But the two main things you need to know are that number one, Sapphire is an extremely high quality material. And number two, it is really durable. Now I say high quality material because this thing is paper thin, like literally the same thickness as a sheet of paper and is perfectly see-through. I would say 0% opacity. Apple already actually uses Sapphire in the iPhone 5S on the camera lens and the home button for this reason. So the camera lens needs to be a super high quality material and very durable and crystal clear to take those great shots through it. And the home button also needs to be crystal clear to be able to read your fingerprint through the glass. So again, it's Sapphire. So that would be the number one thing I noticed just messing around with this panel and holding it, uh, looking through it, putting it over my eye. Basically, you notice how little distortion there is and how exact the colors stay. There's absolutely no color shift while looking through the sapphire glass. Now, another thing I noticed while cleaning it with a microfiber is this particular panel seems really okay with bending, at least a little bit. A little bit of torque, a little bit of flex, a little bit of give here and there. And I've never handled a, a similar 4.7 inch Gorilla Glass panel, but assuming this is sapphire, I got really curious about exactly how durable this is. So I broke out a knife and I broke out the keys and I did some scratching, or at least I thought I was doing some scratching. Basically, I took the knife to the sapphire pretty hard. I applied some deep pressure, really pushed it down and I got nothing. Uh, so then I moved on and I did it with my keys. Again, this is way beyond what you would normally do with the phone, but I pressed down really hard. This is way past any pressure that's gonna be in your pocket. I scraped them, dragged them across the panel, applied a lot of pressure, still nothing. Uh, and then I went on to basically stab the thing pretty hard right in the middle and drag the point of the knife around the surface with some serious pressure. Again, well beyond stuff you're ever gonna do with your phone. Uh, and I got no results. So clearly you don't need a screen protector here. And lastly, I tried to bend it. First, like seriously bend it. So at first I was kind of tentative because I thought maybe there was a chance I might break it, uh, maybe shatter it, but I slowly realized there is absolutely no way I can break this display under my own power. There's no chance. Uh, I have a feeling I could drop a rock on it, but really I couldn't get the surface to even scratch a little bit at all. The worst blemish on the surface was actually my fingerprint marks and the dust from handling it so much. So it's not attached to a phone with a weight or anything, so I couldn't do a drop test or a corner impact test or any of the important stuff to see if it would shatter. But from my experience and from what I've tried, it's almost impossible to scratch this screen with any regular use. So that's really exciting for this new iPhone. I also have, you can see here, the home button part with the Touch ID sensor, which is the exact same size as the iPhone 5S, by the way. So this Sapphire and the new 4.7 inch Sapphire glass panel are pretty much your best look at what we have on the front of the iPhone 6 so far. You can really imagine what this new iPhone is going to look like. Huge thanks to Sonny Dixon again for hooking up these parts. He's been super reliable in the past with this Apple stuff, so no hesitation here, and we have a better look than ever at what the iPhone 6 is gonna look like. But really what I'm most excited for, even if it isn't any of the durability stuff, it's just how high quality the Sapphire material is, how clear it is. I think this is what they're gonna make a big deal about. Check it out. It is just about as good quality as the glass I'm using to record this video. I don't know if that says much. I don't know if that's something that every front panel again on any smartphone will do, but it's something to note. This is an insanely clear, super high quality material, and I'm pumped for more phones at least, or to see the first phone to have a sapphire front panel. So anyway, this has been it. Thanks for watching. This is the front panel of the iPhone 6. Feel free to share this out, embed this, talk about it wherever. Ask questions on Twitter if you want to know more. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.